Hey guys, Slice Cool Dropout here, and today we're gonna learn how to craft Seta and how to make a gazillion buxoids using Seta to mine. So, first things first, um, you don't need uh, a super powerful ship for this. I'm gonna be using the Pegasus Scout, which is one of the uh, parented lighter um, fighters. It's their scout, I think it's their cheapest and weakest uh, and fastest scout fighter. And I just equipped it with some travel engines on the back, MK3 I believe, or the uh, the third level of uh, travel engines, and then a simple uh, bolt repeater on the front, which is like a little mini gun. Um, the first thing you're gonna want to do. And another Xenon down. So the first thing you want to do, spoiler alert, is head to Faulty Logic 1. Where that is on the map, the bottom left. Once you head to Faulty Logic and you come out of the, uh, the gate, you'll want to head over to uh, the Xenon defense platform. Pretty close to the uh, to the highway in the kind of top right section of Faulty Logic One, or in the middle, I should say. So you can't really miss it out of the gate. And uh, what I did is I encountered two, I think they were K class destroyers, and I kind of baited them and went towards back towards the jump gate where there's, if you can see here, uh, just a ton of um, parent destroyers and fighters and, and stuff like that bunch of firepower basically in armada and uh... they won i helped them win we took down the capital ships and now i have this uh... xenon defense platform right for the picking so i'll head over there and show you that now it goes without saying you're going to want to be careful in uh, xenon territory sectors but uh... there's some special things here called tracker mines and uh, I don't see them right now, but you'll see them momentarily, and they're pretty nasty guys. If you come to a stop or even slow down, they'll they'll just blow up from these tracker mines. But luckily, in faulty logic near this um, xenon defense platform, there's none. And this one seems to be kind of unfinished, so I kind of get why it's undefended. It only had two turrets on it. I I knocked them off. So to build the set, or to get a set in the game, you can't buy it. You have to craft it. And the best way to cr get the components is from these little drones here. Now, let's see what this is. Basic ship nano weave. Okay, not what I wanted. But anyways, you uh, keep this up for a little bit and you look at the required components.
Anyways, you get the idea. So you just farm the crap out of the Xenon. And then you're going to want to head to your nearest station. Okay, so you want to head to the crafting bench and make sure you have all the materials for the setup. That is a damaged singularity engine, a flux capacitor, and a programmable, programmable field array. And uh, just from that quick little farm I did, about 5-10 minutes, I got more than enough. Also, if you take a look at the uh, the cost components here, you could just farm that all day. If you really wanted to, if you're bored of doing crystals. Because that's not a bad haul, actually. So anyways, then you would just click on SATA, click craft item, and then you would drag the bar up to 1, like it already is. And then hit craft item. I'm not going to craft it because I already have one, plus once you craft it, notice that the price is worth absolutely nothing, or actually, in fact, one credit. So if you're farming, uh, just sell off the uh, pieces, the parts individually. Once you have your SATA installed or crafted, uh, you always have it on your person. That means your, your private inventory, not the cargo holding your ship, but your private inventory. And uh, it'll work on your spacesuit if you're out of your ship. And it also works in any ship that you're on. Uh, it will not work if you're docked to a station or docked to another ship. It only works if you're in your spacesuit or, another or, or on one of your ships. Okay, so you have your SATA installed on your ship. You just craft it. Now, what the heck do I do with SATA? So, it's the full ship mode in the game. You do you press shift and four. I'm not exactly sure how fast the time's going, but I would say times four, maybe times five, the speed. And that's the game universe in fast forward. So, you could fly around in SATA, but as long as you bump into something or take an action, It'll stop. Here's how you can make millions. Like, I made 10 million in one hour. I think, uh, sorry, 21 million in one hour. What you have to do, sit in your ship and press SATA. And you can see all the little blinking crystals now in the distance. So as soon as I see one, I stop it. Head towards it. You can even do this in SATA. And start mining. Holding O, of course, to use your tractor beam or ship magnet to attract the crystals. So, when you're flying through Xenon space, you gotta be careful for these red dots everywhere. And if you look in the mini map, they're just everywhere. And they're tracker mines. So, if you come to a complete stop, you could get hit. That's why I like flying in these zones with a really fast ship. But my goal destination is to get to Atia's Misfortune.
Wow. Thanks for watching. That's all for me. Hopefully you learned how to craft Zeta and how to take advantage of it uh, mining crystals. Please like, subscribe, comment. If you guys have any questions or anything you guys want to see, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to save your game. See you.